From beginning to end, Samson's story is like a train wreck. We see the disaster coming but just can't look away. What was Samson thinking? He's supposed to be a Nazarite, living a life dedicated to God, but instead he's a proud fool and a boasting womanizer. Following his first terrible relationship with a Philistine woman, we now see Samson, the man of God, sleeping with a Philistine prostitute. Instead of being a great leader, instead of serving God and the people, he's serving his own pleasures. Even worse, while it wasn't unusual for Israelite men to visit local prostitutes, here Samson is sleeping with a foreign woman, one used by uncircumcised Philistines. Then immediately in verse 4, Samson is already with his next Philistine woman. Delilah doesn't even bother hiding her true plan. She takes advantage of Samson's lust for sex to get him to reveal the secret of his strength. Over and over, Delilah brings Philistine troops to capture Samson, but he arrogantly thinks he can keep playing this dangerous game. Then when his secret is finally revealed and used against him, in verse 20, he still stupidly thinks that he can fight his way out. No, his pride has betrayed him and his strength has left him. In verse 21, Samson hits rock bottom. This oafish womanizer sacrificed his divine gift and calling for cheap sex. Now, weak, blind and bound in chains, it's his turn to be used for sex by others. Or as the Israelites would say, to grind another man's grain. While Samson does get his revenge in the end, verse 28 tells us that he does it for the sake of his eyes, not for any noble religious reason. So what does it mean to be a hero? In today's Hollywood movies, heroes are still very much like Samson, with big muscles, small brains and a desire to sleep with all the girls. But is lust for sex and power really what makes a man a hero? It certainly didn't go well for Samson. Instead, Jesus shows us that real heroes are different. Real heroes care for others, stand up for the needy, and even lay down their lives for others. That's what it means to be a true hero.